next question. That was good. I really, that was some good information right there. Um, but to your point, you, you brought up the whole cash, you know, and the music. So for a striving artist, is it more so important to focus on the money or the fans? And I'm gonna start this question off with the ladies. Hmm, okay, well, I think your focus shouldn't necessarily be on the money, but I mean, in reality, that, that is a lot of times a focus. I had a, um, one of my rhymes, I mean, I, I, let, me, let me give a disclaimer. My point of reference is like 90s, early 2000s when Jolly and I were doing our thing, so okay. I'm not really up on what's going on now, but I do think that my experience from that time, our experience from that time kind of gives us a certain perspective about it, but um, I think that your focus should be on what are you doing lyrically or what are you doing, what music are you making? If we look back in the 90s and we see um, the different types of artists that came out and the different styles that were going on and how um, the most original stuff was like, it just made such a huge impact. If we look at like Outkast when they came out, I mean, I could even take it to um, Master P and them when they came out, which, you know, some people don't consider that hip hop, but to me, there's a place for it all. But mm -hmm. if you see these people that came out and stayed true to what, what their sound was and what they felt like was um, authentic to them, it, it brought them the money they wanted. It brought them the fans they wanted. So it goes back to the point that everyone has been trying to make. It's about being authentic to your sound. It's about being real and talking about your real experiences. It's about um, being lyrically dope. It's about um, just 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 the whole hip hop and what it's become and, and you taking that and taking it further and seeing how you can push the limits. I mean, me personally, I'm really into like lyrics, but um, hip hop has grown beyond that. It's not always about right. lyrics anymore. But to me, you focus on your authenticity. You th focus on what do you bring to the table and then everything else will come. Absolutely, absolutely, DBS. Wow, okay. So this is actually um, kind of in a way to piggyback, if it's okay, don't, don't, don't hit me. <laughs> but I'm just saying like, kind of to piggyback off of what they were saying, um, you are absolutely right. It's a matter of being authentic. Now this is my whole thing. If you're focused on the money and not the fans, how are you gonna make the money? The money actually do come from the fans, but the better way that I feel as if to reach the fans is by authenticity. Situations where you rap about whether it's life stories, whether it's about things that's going on with, with your city, your town, whatever, anything else like that. It's a lot that's going on right now, you know what I mean? And the thing is, is that when you're dealing with something personally, and I've learned this from experience, when you're, when you're making music and you're dealing with something personally, it's, to me, it's a totally different sound. So if I'm in a studio and I'm making this track that's about whether it's the police brutality, whether it's about the... Uh, the um the guys that the, the guy that uh went out and and killed his uh his daughter and his baby mother over some child support whatever it is my thing is more so a matter of like when you're dealing with real life true life experiences mm -hmm. it's a totally different sound in the studio right. my thing is is this right. you're not the only person out there that has dealt with any of these hard situations so when you get in the studio and you let all of that emotion out into this track and that one fan hear it you know what I mean that somebody that actually can relate to what's going on, that's where the money's coming from. They'll actually pay for, you know what, like this touched me rather than this just sound good in a club. You know what I mean? This actually made me feel, this made me feel like, you know what, regardless of what's going on in my life, I don't need to worry because in your record, you went through the same things that I went through, but guess what? You strive for better. You got better. If you were able to do it just the same as you're human, I'm human too, I can do the exact same thing. Right. And that's exactly where I'm at with that one. All right, all right. Greenspan, what's going on? Yeah, I, um, I agree. One, two, one, two. I, um, I agree with what the brother just said. Um, definitely, um, I mean, it goes back to authenticity. I mean, focusing on, I think it, it depends on your, the, I guess the stage of your career as well. It's like focusing on money versus focusing on the fans. It's like, if you're going into it like, all right, this was gonna make me some bread. It's like, you already like, <laughs> it's a step backwards. Like you hustling backwards. Like you don't even know what you talking about. You feel what I'm saying? Like 
yeah, like I said before, like I know particular producers, like yo, I just make these trap beats, whatever, because I I know these gonna get placed first. It's like according to who, mm. you know what I mean? And who are you shopping it to? It's a market for everything. So, uh, but like the brother said, if you make some music that's gonna resonate with somebody because you're being true and you're being honest, yes, it's gonna sell. It's a market for that. Somebody will be able to appreciate it. But it's just a matter of you know the visibility of your of your product as well. Whatever product you sell. Visibility and engagement is, is, is that's what's powerful. You feel what I'm saying? They're not just chasing the cool. You always gonna mm -hmm. lose. All right, all right. Supreme, your thoughts. I mean, without, you can't make money without a fan, like one fan anyway. So to, focus more on money than fans. I mean, that's kind of a, not a contradiction, but like, how do you even, how do you even make the money? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like my partner was saying, like the money shouldn't be, how do you, you don't make your money from your music. Like, you know what I mean? Kind of like, how do you, how do you differentiate between those two? Like to get out your music artistically you know, even on in the in the internet world, I mean, it's just just out there. Like, who sees it and who hears it? You know, if you just don't have a fan, so right. and you have your your music. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't want to make this long winded, whatever. I'm gonna wrap it up, but uh, just kind of like, how do you how do you move forward to even generate profits? You know, if you're not doing an actual physical product, merchandise, touring, or whatever, you know, it's not you. You gotta focus on the fans, like, right. you know, or if that's your, you know, that's what you want to do. You I mean you could just do it for the love, and just fans will come as well, you know. And I'll end it with that. You know, I, cause I mean, with this question, you, I look at it, the question as, you know, like Jay Z said, you know. Truthfully, I want to be rhyming like common sense, but I have five mil and I've been rhyming like common sense. So it's like, where do I go with the fan aspect or, you know, as far as that focus, uh, the money? And I think it, it teeter totters between the both. You can't have one without the other. So, am I, what's your what's your take on it? I mean, nowadays people mistake fame and wealth because at the end of the day, like, just because you're famous doesn't mean you're making money. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And just because you're taken. famous doesn't mean everybody likes you. You know right. what I'm saying? So a fan is somebody that's going to support you and going to come to your shows and going to buy, like he was saying, physical product or your digital download. They're not just going to go download the torrent off of something just so they can hear it and hate on it and talk about what they didn't <laughs> like about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. at the end of the day, you have to build a fan base to make people like your stuff so people want to hear it and want to pay for it and see you continue to do, do it. it. You know what I'm saying? So if all you're looking is for fame, I mean, people watch reality TV just to hate on the people on there and they're famous <laughs> and they get money. They get money to walk through clubs and whatever, but that doesn't mean that people like them. When was the last reality TV star that's a rapper or a singer that had a hit record? You know what I'm saying? None yeah. of them people ever, like, you take one of them people off of Love and Hip Hop. When was the last time one of them had a hit record? Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, they got, they're famous, but they're not, they don't have any fans. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, it's not sustainable. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So. That's a key word, sustainable. Yeah. You know, um, so we're going to get ready to take a break here in a second. Um, but, you know, to the audience, I mean, we want to definitely, you know, have you involved. Any questions that you have, definitely feel free to share them with me. Or if you want to just grab the mic and ask the question yourself, feel free. But this is a G Perspective, hip, State of Hip Hop, the Baltimore Perspective. Right here at Cricket Streets Radio. We'll be back in a sec. <laughs> 